Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to convert from rectangular form to polar form of a complex number. So these are the examples we are going to work through. Uh, so these numbers are given in rectangular form and we're going to convert them to polar form. Um, so we have uh, seen uh, in uh, the previous video on the introduction of polar core, um, the polar form of the complex number that if you have got a number x plus i y in a rectangular form we can always convert it to uh, the polar form r c i s theta um, so that means to convert from rectangular form to polar form we need to find r and we need to find uh, theta now r is the modulus of the complex number theta is the argument and so for that reason we strongly uh, recommend that if you're watching this video and you haven't seen our video on the modulus and the argument uh, you do so before you come back to this one um, okay, so for the first question in A, we have got Z equals to negative 1 plus I root 3. So the first thing we're going to do here is to write this in coordinate form. And uh, the X is uh, negative 1 here the y is uh, square root 3 so the y is always the um, coefficient of the imaginary number i so that means the complex number we have here is located in quadrant number two and uh, the horizontal distance is minus one vertical distance is root three so from that we can find using uh, pythagoras we can find r which is the modulus so it's going to be the square root of negative one squared plus root three squared okay so negative one squared is one this is going to be three so this is going to be square root four so the modulus of this is 2 then the angle theta is this angle here okay now um when we punch inverse tangent i'm just going to call this one phi when we punch inverse tangent of y over x we always get that angle inside the um, our triangle there. Sometimes that angle corresponds to the argument. Sometimes, like in this case, it doesn't because clearly you can see that theta is the angle outside uh, that triangle. So here, if we plug in inverse tangent negative 3 babies unjani nya planami did you go to town today no ndo yakusasa e baby Mm-mm. Oh, okay. So, it's Okay. Bye. Bye, boy. Bye.
Um, so negative 60 so that's this angle here now since this is a straight uh, angle uh, that means uh, and the straight angle is um, 180 so the angle you are looking for is this one so it's going to be 120 degrees is 2 pi on 3 in radians so we've got r and we've got theta so that means we can write this um, complex number in polar form so therefore minus 1 plus i a root 3 is 2 cis 120 or 2 cis 2 pi on 3 so that is the first one um, I forgot to B we have got uh, root 2 minus I root 2 write this in coordinate form the X is root 2 the Y is negative root 2 so that means this time our complex number is in quadrant number 4 this is uh, root 2 this is negative root 2 some of these uh, we once you know the values you can work out some of the um, like the, the angle in this case straight away we know that is going to be 45 because these two are equal got an isosceles triangle okay so let's uh, work out the modulus so we're going to have square root, root square root 2 squared plus uh, negative square root 2 squared so this is going to be 2 plus 2 again this is going to be square root 4 so the modulus is going to be 2 again now this is 45 we can work out by inspection so if we um, read the angle this way so that means um, our argument is going to be negative 45 degrees or minus pi over 4 if we want we could uh, read it the other way in which case it's going to be 315 and then you can do the corresponding um, thing in uh, radians so that means square root 2 minus i square root 2 is going to be 2 cis negative 45 degrees alternatively 2 cis negative pi on 4 it's going to be our complex number in polar form for c we have uh, z equals to negative 7i this in coordinate form is 0 minus 7 so we've got a number along the coordinate axis whenever that happens we uh, should be in a position to find the magnitude which means the modulus and the argument which means the angle by inspection really okay because like the magnitude is simply the distance from the origin to here which is seven it's always positive because it's undirected then theta is the angle we can either work it out in the counterclockwise sense or in the clockwise sense in the clockwise sense that's negative 90 so negative pi over 2 so that means uh, the number uh, negative 7 I we can write as 7 CIS negative 90 degrees or 7 CIS of pi over 2 and uh, that is going to be our complex number 
in polar form. Um, in D, um, we have got Z equal to 2. So this is 2, 0. Again, we've got a complex number along the um, along the coordinate axis. So that means we can do this by inspection. R is this distance, which is 2. And theta is the angle, which is 0 degrees, because we, we always measure the angles from this axis. So right now we are right there. So 2 is going to be 2 CIS of 0. It's 0 degrees and it's 0 in uh, radians. Right, at this point, we're going to give you the opportunity to have a go at the remaining three examples. So um, you may uh, want to just pause the video and then have a go at uh, E, F and G. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our answers. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for e f and g we uh thankful to you for coming to our channel to watch the videos here uh, we hope uh, that you are finding them uh, useful please do not forget of course to subscribe to our channel and uh, like the video and share accordingly if you've got any questions you can post them in the comment section so for E, um, the uh, X uh, and the Y are negative 1 and negative 1. So the number is uh, in the third quadrant. Uh, R is going to be square root 2. The um, argument is going to be 180 plus this angle here. So when you do this thing here, you always get the angle inside the triangle. This time it's 45, which we can see by inspection because the, those two are equal. So our argument is going to be 225 or 5 pounds for radians. Mm. So the complex number in polar form takes uh, one of those forms. Uh, this time we've got z equals 5i, so 5i is on the vertical axis above the origin. That distance from the origin to that point there is 5 by inspection, and uh, the angle is 90 by inspection again, and so that is going to be a polar form. Uh, this one, both x and y are positive, so we're in the first quadrant. Um, this squared is 27, that is 9, so the magnitude modulus is going to be 6, and uh, the uh, argument this time is the angle inside our triangle, it's 30, so that is going to be our complex number in polar form. Thank you.